Tonight is all about setting up a reader magnet or a lead magnet or a cookie or a legal bribe or these things are known by so many, uh, so many different terms. But in short, it's the thing you offer people in exchange for a way to reach them and permission to communicate with them. Oh, thanks, Megan. Yay, you can hear me. That's good. Um, so I'm just going to call them magnets for tonight because I don't have time to do <laughs> the complete list of all the terms that people use for these things. Um, but uh, you, you've all seen these. This is uh, this is the uh, sign up for my email list and get a free book, or, you know, get the series of free short stories or, you know, whatever. Um, and that's what we're going to be walking through tonight. Uh, so, um, and I, I'm doing this because I... I keep seeing people, you know, struggling with like what best practices are for this. And I'm not going to pretend that I have all the best practices uh, nailed down as far as like newsletters and marketing and all of that. Um, there are definitely things that are working for me, but there are things that I am trying to learn to do, be more efficient about and do better. But as far as, you know, the tech side of how can I get a story to people with minimum hassle and maximum efficiency that that I can share. So yeah, Laura has straight hair today. It's weird. It'll be different tomorrow. Um, <laughs> so, uh, I, I got my hair cut today and my stylist really likes to do like straight blowouts and, um, I just let her do it because it makes her happy. And then, um, it's raining. So tomorrow I'll be my usual self. So that's fine. <laughs> Yeah, this is the, this is the temporary, uh, this happens just, you know, maybe four times a year kind of, kind of hair for me. So, okay. Um, so I'm going to walk through this process and talk a little bit about what we're doing and why, and please throw all the questions at me in the chat, unless you already know more than me about this, in which case, please contribute your wisdom as we work. Uh, I'm going to show some, uh, some uh, some, some, some alternatives that, you know, it's not just one, one right way to do this. Uh, so I'll talk about several options and, and please feel free to chime in with your experience. So there we go. Um, now I want to be able to see the screen too, not just you guys hold the phone. There we go. So many freaking windows open. All right. Uh, so I am now in book funnel, uh, book funnel, dot com. Uh, actually, I'm going to throw a link to that into the chat because I can. No, I can't. I'm going to type it. <laughs> Bookfunnel.com. There we go. Uh, and the advantage of, let me, let me back up for a second. Too many, too many things to, uh, to do here. Hold on. Okay. There are two major platforms that you can use to distribute these uh, kinds of files, or you can distribute them yourself, either in your email service or directly from your website. I have done all three of those methods. I am going to show you distributing via either book funnel or story origin first, because those are my recommended methods. But if you absolutely just, you know, you took all the cushions off the couch and you can't find the change to pay for it, uh, fine. I will show you the, the cheaper methods too. Keeping in mind that um, cheap can refer to money or it can refer to all of your resources, which includes time, energy, frustration, <laughs> all of those things. So let's walk through this. So while we're getting uh, set up, let's talk for just a second about... Um, why we actually want an email list. Uh, I actually saw somebody uh, arguing on social media, of course, uh, the other day on, um, again, that email lists are dead. You know, they've been dead for the last 15 years, right? Um, email lists are dead and nobody actually checks their email anymore and all of that. And I would like to say, first of all, nobody is a very big word to <laughs> basically talk about Gen Z's. Um, Sorry guys, I'm not picking on Gen Z's, but as a demographic, they are the ones least likely to actually check their email, um, which is why most of my 
best Gen Z friends also miss a lot of things, <laughs> but uh, I don't even, I'm not even being mean saying that they would, they would be right up there with me uh, uh, talking about it. Um, so, but let me, let me give just a little bit of Gen X talk then <laughs> about, uh, about the Gen Z avoidance of, of emails. And, and honestly, it's, it's not, you know, strictly generational. Some people are just, you know, they were frightened by an email address when they were a small child and they've never recovered. Uh, so, but here's the thing about email. Email is far more reliable than trying to reach people via social media. And yeah, I get it. Like writing newsletters feels intimidating and cumbersome and unwieldy. And we all hate it because it feels very markety. Um, Whereas I can throw some cat pictures on Instagram and that feels like I'm doing marketing without, uh, you know, actually writing a newsletter. Um, so I see the attraction. I really do. Uh, but there's, there are so many advantages to email. Um, one, like it goes to your inbox. Uh, unlike much of social media, uh, which gets filtered by algorithms gets filtered by, oh my gosh, even if you're trying to direct message people on social media, the meta family of companies, whatever we're calling them now, Facebook, Instagram, all of that, they have multiple inboxes. So even if you direct message somebody, which is kind of a weird thing to be doing for marketing, um, people used to do that. We stopped doing that for a reason. Uh, but even if you're direct messaging somebody, there's a good chance it's not going to go to them. Uh, as I have found, you know, somebody said, Hey, are you interested in collaborating on a project? I said, absolutely. Send me, send me the info. Never heard from them, assumed they decided not to do it. And then later found a bunch of nasty grams in my other Facebook messenger box because I wasn't responding. I'm like, well, who sends a professional contact over Facebook messenger when you know you, like, it's not even a secret, you know, it's not going to go into the primary inbox. It's going to go into that other box and people aren't going to see it. So Oh. Anyway, um, <laughs> so there's my rant for the day. Um, oh no, okay. Kate says mine's dead, but I think that's an unrelated issue, but I've missed what was dead. I don't know. Okay. <laughs> so um, anyway, maybe the newsletter, we'll come back to that. Anyway, um, so the, it will actually get delivered. It's searchable. Uh, you know, some people want to say, you know, like, oh, I heard something's happened. You know, they want to check email, like they can, they can actually search for it. Unlike social media, which is really hard to search through or social media chats. Oh my gosh. Um, the, uh, the time, I think I've told this story on, on stream before. Um, so I'll keep it short, but I joined a promotional group and they were managing everything in a social media chat which should have been my first warning and, uh, literally hundreds, hundreds of messages going by. Um, sorry, I'm trying to mute my computer here. Hundreds of messengers messages going by in a single evening. Um, quite a lot of which were about arranging play dates for their kids. Not, uh, <laughs> not about the promotion, which meant when I logged into the next morning and I saw like, you have 372 new messages and the link that I needed for the, for the actual like, you know, spreadsheet and all that stuff is 300 messages up. And so you're trying to scroll, but people are putting in new things and oh my, what a nightmare. So yeah, just, um, that was a, I was, I have a very, very short blacklist of things I will not work with again, but that was one of them. Um, but here's the thing, if you're an email, first of all, if that happens, it's searchable. And secondly, it's much less likely to happen because it's an email. So people are already being a little bit more professional, we would hope, um, and not feeling like they're just kicking back on, you know, a Slack chat or whatever with their friends. So uh, email's better for, you know, adult transactions, not, not creepy adult, I didn't mean that way, but like don't send your financial papers through WhatsApp or you know, whatever you're doing, just don't do that. So, um, and here's the biggest thing. Email is not subject to random algorithms. And, uh, you know, we want to serve you things that are going to make you more outraged or more distressed because those are more profitable for us. Uh, we, the only social media that I'm aware of that actually, that does not actively manipulate your feed is Tumblr. So if your marketing is primarily on Tumblr, 
go, go, go for it. Good, good, good for you. Um, the rest of us probably need something like email because it's going to be much more reliably delivered. And I'm sorry, this turned into a much, much longer soapbox than that was intended, but there we go. There's my email. We still, it still exists. It's still, it's still the killer app for a reason. All right. Uh, I just, you know, I hear all the time people say something, Oh, I didn't know that, but Oh, well it was on social media. Well, yeah. Cause like what? 4%, 8% of what you see on your Facebook feed, you know, what goes by on your Facebook network actually shows up in your feed, you know, whatever. That's nice. That was a lot. Let's, let's actually get to work. <laughs> all right. So, all right. So I've got, um, I'm in book funnel and I'm going to click up here and, oh, it's, is it showing? Hang on. Let me, let me, let me see if I can window capture. Hi, can you, can we see the whole window? There we go. Look at that. All right. So there's this button at the top left, um, hidden behind my, my unicorn here. There we go. And you'll see it says add new. That's for adding new content. <laughs> so I'm going to click add new. I'm going to add a new book and you can see here we have book, audio book, short audio, landing page, pen name, all these things. We're just going to add a new book and uh, I'm going to, call this a demo because I actually already have this book entered, but I want to walk through the whole process with you. And I can label this if I want to, does it show, does it show? It's not showing that pop-up menu. Uh, I'm sorry, the info tab for you. Oh, there it is. Yeah, it is. Okay. Um, so yeah, I just leave these blank, but if you need to label it something specific, you know, to, to group things, you can. And I'm going to mark that this is, uh, this one's a novella. So I'm going to drop that down and it's a novella. I can enter anything like series info, um, you know, Amazon, uh, ASINs, if I want to do that. Um, and yeah, we're not going to worry about that here. Book tagline. Oh my gosh. What do I want to call this? Um, uh, everything changed. I'm just, when, the strangers arrived on their planet. Again. All right, so there we go. Um, and here, this is actual book description. All right, <laughs> so, and I can add a, like an actual note to readers down here, all sorts of things. Um, you know, you, you've got many options, but I'm going to scroll down. Um, there's a button, I think just under where you can see that says create book. And that's what I'm going to click. So now I have created my, uh, my book and it's ready to upload, upload cover. Oh, good grief. Um, let me get to, all right. So I'm going to upload this lovely cover and then book files. Sales pages and promos do not require files, but we are not doing that. We are doing a landing page. So um, we're going to need files. So I'm going to upload an EPUB. And what I really like is that uh, book funnel will take that EPUB and turn it into all of the file types, you know, build a Mobi and a PDF and, or I can upload a PDF if I want one. I don't think it'll build me a PDF, but I can just upload an EPUB and everything's done. Okay. So when, this is done chugging and can I see, there we go. If I compress this a little bit, you guys can see on the right where it says it's compiling and it's going to do that for a few minutes. And then now it says ready. So it is ready to go up here in the action, uh, menu. And then there's a drop down that says add landing page and I could edit book details details. It's if I realize I misspelled something or want to change the description or whatever, but we're going to go to add landing page. And here is where the fun starts. So I have, uh, a, a number of options here. I am on the mid list tier. That's the middle. There's like, like super cheap, which I think is $20 a year or something for book funnel. Um, and then there's a mid mid tier and there's a more expensive one. I'm on the mid tier. So this is the range of options that I have. Uh, if you are on the most cheap 
you have the least expensive book funnel tier. Uh, you do not have the option to collect email addresses. So what I'm going to show you is not going to work for you. It will work on the free tier of story origin. Uh, so those are, <laughs> those are your options. Uh, you know, just some, sometimes your budget might determine a little bit, which, which platform you're using. There are other things I like about book funnel that, um, keep me on the mid list tier for book funnel. Um, I actually am on both apps, you know, story origin and book funnel. Um, and I'm currently running a data collection experiment, uh, over a period of months so I can do some hard science driven decisions on, uh, on which one I'm going to stay on long-term. But, uh, for right now, I'm still in the midst of data collection. So I'm on both of those. Uh, you'll hear people say that one is better than another. And I don't think that's a universally true statement. I think a lot of that depends on, um, genre on the, uh, tech savviness of your users, all, all kinds of things. Anyway, what we are going to do here, um, because this is specifically a reader magnet to collect email addresses and get people onto our newsletter. Uh, so we have a couple of ways we can do that, but I am going to, uh, start here with a sign up page to collect new readers. And I could also do a download page without email collection. That's just, if I just want to make something freely available for download, or if you are getting organic signups, you know, for people signing up for your newsletter on your website or something like that, and then you want to deliver to them rather than having them sign up here with a specific book, uh, then you can use that download page. And so when they sign up, they get an automatic email that says, great, here's your, here's your link to download the book and you can do it that way. But for right now, we're going to start with this, uh, and it says, do you want to require the, or should the reader have the option of joining today? We're requiring, <laughs> that's what we're doing here. So, <clears throat> and then I'm going to come down now, down here, a restricted land landing page for current subscribers. If you have your email list integrated into book funnel, meaning book funnel talks to, uh, I mean, uh, convert kit, sendy, send Fox, MailChimp, whatever you're using, all the things, um, it can actually double check, you know, they enter their email address that checks and says, yes, you're subscribed. You can get this. Um, and that's a good option if you're doing some, uh, post sign up delivery or whatever. Uh, however, Integration is a little bit more expensive. It's an extra $50 a year and I'm real darn cheap. So I will show you how I do that, um, uh, in a bit. So anyway, now I'm going to come down and click again. Let's see if I can shrink this window so you can see what we're doing. Yeah, there we go. So I can come down and click, uh, create landing page and it's going to give me this option. So I'm going to call this demo against a lonely shore because I'm not very creative. Demo magnet. There we go. And again, they can download it without, um, without giving their email, they can have an option or we can require an email in order to get the book, which is what we're going to do right here. I can set this to expire if I want to, or I can set, Hey, only the first hundred people get this book. And I mean, again, there's a lot of options here. I asked the reader for the first name because I think it's nice sometimes to be like, hello, Margaret, thanks for joining me today. Here's what's going on uh, kind of thing. Um, you don't have to do that. I don't ask for the last name. Uh, I think that is, we're starting to get into unnecessary information. It adds friction. Friction slows people down from signing up. We don't like that. I do ask that they confirm their address before they get their book. That's the classic. You've all seen it. You know, we, we send the email. Yes. Did you sign up for this? Click. Yeah. That keeps people from getting pranked or spammed by other people. It also means they're actually going to open the email that I send them. So here again, my mid list plan does not include integrations. Integrations are $50 a year more at the time of this video. And I just do it manually to avoid that. Um, do I spend more time than $50 a year worth of time doing that? Yes. But I also, uh, when I, when I get the, the CSVs, their spreadsheets of, uh, of subscribers that actually gives me a chance. I just go through and I make sure like if they typed their name in all small letters, then I'll go ahead and initial cap it so that when they get it, it looks, you know, a little more 
like I actually cared about them. <laughs> so, okay, so all of that, we're gonna then we're gonna save this page. And uh, so now, I'm gonna close that. Here's my here's my landing page. It's a sign up page. Here's this one, and nobody's claimed it yet because we're not doing that. So now I've got these links and uh, look fast because these links are going to be disabled as soon as this video is over because the story that I'm using uh, was only for my patrons and is not going to be up for uh, for download. So, uh, so look fast. <laughs> but I've got these links here that if I, you know what, let's just go look at the one. So now I've got my lovely, lovely book cover. I've got my tagline, which I probably would have spent some more time on if I were really trying to get people in. I get free copper. Um, I can have my book description. This is where if I had a note to readers, it would appear. And if I click get my book, uh, it's going to ask for the first name and the email address exactly as we saw. Okay. And I actually have my privacy policy uh, set into BookFunnel, so it automatically links that if people want to check that out, all of those things, okay? So now I could just take that link and share it, you know, here on my social media or in, um, in groups that allowed, you know, promotional links or something. So people could see that, look at the cover, go, ooh, that's pretty, click through, oh, here it is where I can download it. And in order to download it, I have to sign up for the newsletter. That seems fair. And now I have gotten people on my newsletter. Yay. Okay. So that is uh, one option to do. And I'm going to do just a very, very quick uh, demo with story origin. We're not going to go through the whole thing here. Story origin does start for free, which book funnel does not. Uh, one thing I really like about BookFunnel is it has an extremely user-friendly app uh, and they take care of all this, all the tech support. So if somebody goes to download the book, um, you know, when I, when I, when I took, when I did all of this on my own um, and I, so I, people would grab the file from my website or whatever. And then I, you know, well, I downloaded the, the file on my computer, but it's not on my Kindle. Okay. Did you send it to your Kindle? Uh, no, no. How do you do that? Well, here's links on how to send a file to your Kindle. Well, I don't know how to do that. Okay. Let me talk you through it. Well, it's not working. Well, why isn't it working? Did you, did you download an EPUB or a Mobi? Okay. Now you need to download a Kindle friendly file. Oh wait, it turns out you're actually using iOS and not Android or, you know, any, any number of things. And, um, so, that's, that's a huge amount of time and frustration and I, I just don't want to deal with it. And I pay book funnel to do all of that for me. There it is. There's a lovely little need help button right on the download page. And if you, um, if your download doesn't it magically appear, or if you want it in a different app or whatever, boom, it's all there. It's done. So <laughs> that's, um, uh, that's where I will pay. Uh, I won't pay for the integrations, but I will totally pay to get out of tech support. <laughs> so, um, Okay, where was I supposed to be over here? Author dashboard, here we go. Um, and I can do the same thing. And again, here they're calling them reader magnets. We can call them uh, any number of things, but I'm just going to create, uh, oh, you know what? I'll just do it here uh, with a book I've already uploaded. So um, new title, there we go. Um, tagline here, more info and it's fantasy and that's good. Um, and then book info. Let's pretend I spelled book correctly. There we go. All right. So now I'm going to upload my thing. I can, there we go. Yep. All that looks good. EPUB. All right. Now what I don't like, and I'm actually not going to be able to finish this because I don't have a Moby for this book, uh, because Mobies are actually kind of going away or have gone away already. And I don't automatically make them when I build a book for my, uh, patrons or whatever. Uh, or so I would have to go and convert an EPUB into a Moby to complete this, but you can see how quickly things go together. Um, is this a preview or a sample? No, it's a full book. 
um, all of that. So here, uh, automatically send uh, reader contact info to the mailing list. I do have integrations in Story Origin. So I can say, hey, we're going to send it to send to Fox. Um, and I've already got it selected to, um, let's go to, you know what, let's go to Story Origin Builders because uh, that's part of my data collection experiment. If I can split, split it out to exactly what mailing list I want it to go to. I like to send them, a lot of people just send everything to their main mailing list. I actually send them to small lists and then roll people into the big list. And that's another story that we can talk about another time. Um, but, but again, you can see how quickly that, how that was, you know, you could just put it together and then now you've got another landing page to send people. Um, and Story Origin's a perfectly good service as well. And it does have a, uh, this, this service available for on the free tier. It does not as many lovely options, but it's there. So yeah, um, <laughs> here we go. Um, all right. Oh, I should probably talk about what we're actually sending. Let's do that for a second. Um, can we get back to, here, here we go. Um, so the, what, what story or what book uh, we're choosing for a lead magnet, reader magnet, cookie, whatever you want to call them, uh, is good. Don't just take any old stupid thing that got rejected 57 times and then you put it away because, you know, you didn't really like it. But, oh, I can give it away for free because I don't care that much. Because this thing needs to be what hooks people on you and your writing. This, this needs to be a really good demo of what, uh, what you can offer. So pick something that's at least in sync with the bulk of your catalog. Uh, if, if it doesn't have to be, you know, here's the first book of my, you know, killer series, although some people do that and just use that as a loss later to get people into the rest of the series. Um, but it should at least be, you know, if you're, if you're normally writing epic fantasy, this shouldn't be your sci-fi romance story, right? Like, you know, to have something that matches so people can get a good, good idea of what you do and then want to do it. It should be pretty good. <laughs> like I feel bad that you say that, but a lot of people are like, ah, you know, we're giving it away for free. So it doesn't really need to be edited. Yes. Yes, it does. These are you know, these are the, the samples that are in the grocery store aisle. And if they taste terrible, nobody's going to buy the product, right? So you need to have really, really good samples. Likewise, it should have a decent cover. And I get it. We don't want to spend real money on a uh, really nice cover for something we're going to give away for free. Uh, but again, think of this as a loss leader. And it don't, you don't have to go in. This is not where you, you, you drop on the 6 or $800 cover. Uh, go pick up a, you know, a pre-made for a much more reasonable price. Or, you know, this one that you're looking here, I made this myself out of uh, stock uh, imagery. And um, no, I didn't draw that, heck no. Um, <laughs> but, but you know, is it the world's best cover? Absolutely not. Does it look decent? Uh, you know, it doesn't look like amateur hour and it, you know, it does, does give it a mood and impression and it does look like it might be interesting. Yes. So that's, that's all I can ask for, um, for the amount of money I spent on this cover. Um, yeah. And it's not a bad idea to go ahead and tie that to your series. So if you signed up for my email list, uh, you will get a series of shorter pieces. And one of them is a prequel to the Shard of Elan epic fantasy series. So, all right. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Let's, um, talk about if I wanted to host this, um, on my website. Oh, I'm so sorry. Again, Kate also, Kate, Kate is putting more stuff in the chat that I'm finding later. It's super cool. I don't know what's super cool, but I agree with you. Whatever it is, it's the best. <laughs> it's the bomb. Um, yeah. So I'm sorry. I, I should be paying more attention. Um, I just have too many windows open. I'm so sorry. Uh, all right. So if I want to host this on my website, uh, I, that's as easy as just, you know, putting a link up and letting people download it. And there, there's a variety of ways. Oh, the cover. Yay. Yes. I like it. I really do like it. And I think I spent like in dollar amounts, not counting my time. This is a under $3 cover. Uh, but then I, 
worked on it. So that takes some resources, right? And, um, and also I did it in Photoshop. So I have a Photoshop subscription. So those are, those are things, but yes, I, I quite like it too. Honestly, for a $3 cover, it does everything I need it to do for that I can expect for $3. <laughs> so, um, okay. I'm sorry. I'm going to mute that vibrating thing because it's going to town. Okay. Um, so if I'm trying to do this myself, and I already mentioned like one of the things I love about book funnel is they take all, care of all the tech support and such. So that's a good, uh, a, a good feature for me that's worth paying for. Um, if you sign up, you know, just organically on my website, here's my email, you know, sign up for me, sign up for my newsletter and get a free, free book. So you enter your email and, um, then that can automatically through whatever email service you're using, send, uh, send an automated reply that says, great, here's your free book. And I can have a link then to a secret page on my website with the download link. Obviously that secret page is not going to be that secret because that, you know, if, if, uh, if I sign up for your email or sign, I'm sorry, sign up for your newsletter and you send me that link, I can give that link to 50 people and post it on, you know, whatever. Um, and is that a huge risk? No, like, and, and you know, I honestly wasn't like making a ton of money off that book anyway, cause it's my loss leader for uh, for newsletter. And so it's not that big a deal, but darn it, if I'm going to give away a book, I can expect an email address. Like that's, that's reasonable. Uh, so, and again, the, the bigger issue for me when I was self-hosting was, uh, just the tech support. I don't, I don't want to, uh, have to deal with people struggling to get, um, the downloaded file onto their Kindles or their Nooks or, um, iPhones or whatever. So, um, yeah. Anyway, um, I'm sorry, I just lost all sound, but I'm pretty sure that was purely at my end because it looks like the mic is still active. So that's good. All right. We'll just keep going. Um, <laughs> all right. Um, yeah. So, but the cool thing about doing either story origin or book funnel is let me get back to here is I can do promos and drive, uh, drive traffic to my book and get people onto my website that, or I'm sorry, onto my newsletter that way. They don't have to come to my website and see the sign up. They can be browsing for, you know, Hey, we have a hundred, uh, free books this weekend. Come see if there's anything you like, download whatever looks good and sign up for the, those newsletters. Okay. So you'll see those promos happening a lot. So over here, um, you know, it's just looking for group promos and I can see now I have selected, you know, sci-fi and fantasy. And, um, so I'm going to show it's got, you know, a lot, <laughs> a lot of promos running. Um, book funnel has a, maybe more promos than story origin does. Uh, and I'm still, like I said, I'm not, still collecting data on how those relate to my particular niche. I don't think it's fair to say that one of them is definitely better than the other. I think it depends on genre and readership and that sort of thing. So, uh, yeah, but what, what one of these promos is, is, uh, you know, somebody will say, Hey, I'm going to organize a promo for, uh, and you know, military fantasy or whatever. And so I say, Oh, I have military fantasy. I'm going to sign up to participate. My link, my, my, uh, promo, my landing page that we just made, uh, goes into that promo. And in exchange, I agree to share the link to that primary promo uh, page, uh, with, you know, my social media, my newsletter, that sort of thing. So everybody's sharing the link. It's driving a lot of people in there. Then they pick out the books that look good to them. And those people join my newsletter. Uh, there are two types of promos on book funnel. Uh, and they're, they're not the same people get them confused, but there are sales promos and newsletter building promos. What we're talking about here is a newsletter building promo. People are getting that for free. Sales promo is just exactly what it sounds like. Hey, there's a bunch of books. They're for sale. You should try to buy them. I have not had as much success with those. I know some people say that that's worked well for them. For me, the newsletter promos are a lot more successful. Uh, and I want to build my newsletter list because then I can get people hooked on my stuff and then they will buy it. That's the plan. So, uh, yeah. Book funnel promos are only going to be worthwhile if you have the ability to collect email addresses. 
yes, you can do book funnel promos and just give away free books. I don't like to give away free books without some sort of strategy to capitalize on that. <laughs> so, um, so yeah, for me, I'm not going to do a book funnel promo unless I have the ability to collect email addresses. So right now I am participating in three book funnel promos. Um, and if I mouse over this, you'll be able to see Shard and Shield is in one. Uh, she Speaks in Flames is in two of them. And uh, so these are the dates that they're running. And I have little stars to say these are the days I will share it uh, with my newsletter or, or whatever. Um, so yes, I, I think you're definitely going to, you know, see a lot more traction, you know, if you're giving away your book in exchange for an email address and now you have a way to reach people, ask for reviews, say, hey, did you like this? Then you'll also like that, that sort of thing. So, um, okay, let's jump back to, do I want to, yeah, okay. Um, if I come over to where, where do we leave it? Yeah, sorry, there we go. Um, Story Origin offers group promos, which we just discussed. They also have specifically for newsletter swaps. This is not something I do a ton of. I know people who have done very well with newsletter swaps. Uh, and so newsletter swaps would be, I say, hey, I have a list of, uh, you know, 4,000 people or whatever that um, are interested in these subgenres. And I have a book in this subgenre. If you, you know, put my book in your newsletter of people looking for that. And I will put your book in my newsletter of people looking for that. And so it's just a way to expose to a new audience. Um, again, I have done some of that, not a lot. Uh, and I, but I know people have done very, very well with those kinds of things. And again, uh, uh, oh, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Let's check here. Um, yeah, the newsletter swaps are only for, the standard plan on story origin. I thought that was true, but you can start collecting email right from the beginning on the free plan on story origin. So I do, um, I do like that. Um, so, oh, and they, they're saying tech support for readers now, maybe they're offering more than they used to. I honestly haven't looked at it in a while. So that, that could be something there. Um, I also really like unlimited file delivery, which is big in, um, uh, on book funnel, your, your, your starter plan is limited. Now it's limited to 500 downloads a month, which, uh, if you're getting that many, uh, <laughs> that many downloads a month, you're probably going to be able to afford to upgrade pretty quickly. Uh, but yeah, that's a thing. Oh, grace was, grace was foiled by the time change. I know spring, like not only is daylight savings time evil on so many levels to start, but the fact that different countries switch times at different on different days is utterly insane, utterly insane. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, welcome, welcome. So, uh, yeah. So where was I? What was I doing? I have no idea. Hmm. Okay. Something else that I do, and this is something I use book funnel for, uh, and, and these, these have lots more services that we're not getting into like, um, the advanced reader copy delivery and, uh, you know, getting review service or, you know, giving books out, asking for reviews and all, all kinds of things that we're just not going to cover tonight. Cause that's not our, it's not our topic. Um, but one thing that I can do, let me get into, um, I want to go into the demo because I don't want to accidentally display any email addresses here. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Um, but you'll see this add to reader library. Um, and this is something I use. Um, I use it for my, my patrons on my Patreon. I use it if I'm gifting a copy, somebody wins a contest and I'm sending this this way. Or, um, if I, I'm giving somebody, um, you know, I said, Hey, are you interested in carrying my book? I can give you a sample copy, you know, that kind of thing. And, and so what I do is instead of just emailing them an EPUB, uh, I will add it to their reader library here. This does a number of things. One, I have control of where it went. Uh, as somebody who had uh, a book pirated before it was even released, I've gotten very uh, grabby about my, my, my book files. 
Um, but BookFunnel will automatically invisibly watermark uh, any files that they handle. So if something does get pirated, uh, we know exactly what email address pirated it. So, <laughs> so I just kind of casually mention that as I, oh, here's your personalized file, you know, kind of thing. And, uh, and then it reduces the, the risk of piracy because everybody knows that, you know, it's watermarked to them. So, so I think that that's a feature that I like, uh, about book funnel and, uh, it's possible that story origin does that as well. I don't know. I was using book funnel, uh, for that purpose first. So I already had that, uh, and didn't need to, to check it out. Uh, but anyway, so I can add to the reader library. And so, um, when I, every month when I release something to patrons, I just put all those email addresses in there and it all automatically appears in their book funnel, um, either the apps, uh, that they've got on their mobile devices, or they can send that on to Kindle or whatever their favorite e-readers are or any of those things. So, okay. Um, <clears throat> yeah. So what questions do we have? <laughs> Cause I've just talked about this for a while. Um, and, um, so let's see if I can actually get back to chatting and things. Curse, curse daylight savings time and it's uh, bizarre, confusing uh, disorientation for everyone. Um, do I have next, next week's topic up yet? I don't remember if I have next week's topic up yet. No, I don't yet. So, um, so that'll be it. That'll be a that'll be a discovery when, when, when we get there. Cause I don't remember what I have planned. Uh, I will give a heads up that I will be traveling at the end of April and in beginning of May. So I'm going to just cancel the stream for those nights. So we will not have anything like that. Oh, thank you, Grace. Yes. This is, uh, this is the, uh, cover that this is for the nov novelette, novella, novelette, uh, that my patrons got this month, this past month. So, um, but I'm using it for my, for my reader magnet demo. So, okay. I do have, I'm sorry. I was meant to, I meant to share these as we went and I was too distracted and slow, but, um, I do have story origin links for you. That one is an affiliate link. Uh, so more stuck on the, yay, you signed up. Here's your free book, automatic follow-up email. Those are automations. And I will happily show you how that works. <laughs> Largely because I haven't tried very hard yet. That's okay. We're going to walk through it. Um, okay. Let's hop over to SendFox. Let's go to automations. Um, let's do, here's my book funnel welcome email series. Okay. Uh, so you can see I've got three emails in this series and you know what? I'm just going to, this is send Fox. I'm throwing this chat. If this in the chat here too, you have no reader magnet. You could have a reader magnet. You can write. You're scared. Oh, thank you, Megan. Megan says against a lonely shore was really good. <laughs> thank you. Yeah. I appreciate that. Okay. Um, so if I come over here and I've got uh, automations and every email service provider does this, whether you're using MailChimp or Aweber or ConvertKit or Constant Contact or Sendy, or I'm in SendFox right now, all of these things, they will all have this. Sometimes they will call them different things, automation, autoresponder, you know, something like that. Um, but so the trigger is if you get added to that list, then it starts this automation. And I have three emails that I send, uh, and these emails, uh, are, are already written. I don't have to do anything. And actually let's just jump up and open it here. There we go. And then right here, you can see there's that first link that is to, I'm going to move that so that it's not being distracting. Um, that first link right here is to that download page. Uh, so, you know, you can jump up, click this, it'll take you to that landing page. That's one that does not ask for an email sign up because they didn't get this unless they already signed up. Um, and so they can do that. So that's been there. Uh, send Fox. Actually, I've, I resisted send Fox for a while cause I really didn't like it when it first came out, but I did move over 
about five months ago and I actually quite like it so it's worth worth checking um, and yeah um, what are you, you know what anyway yeah okay sorry <laughs> send uh, send a send another link for that I have a uh, I have an affiliate link that will that will give a, a discount on that too um, which is not in the chat right now but I will fix that okay and then yeah so anyway that's 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 how that's working um what was the other question with that because i i feel like um there was what was it something um what was the i'm, I'm scrolling back up in the chat to see if that prompts me the other part of the the thing we were looking at i don't know I'm so sorry. Like it was there and I was going to explain it and I got distracted and it's, it's gone, but okay. Anyway, the idea being, um, that you can, uh, you know, just build these in and then I never have to think about them again, which is what I'm actually after. Um, and then what I automatically hear at the end when, when they get through, you know, they get in this one comes through book funnel. I can see the attrition rate, you know, as people are coming through, some people are just going to sign up to get the freebie and then immediately unsubscribe. Great. Okay. If you're not going to engage with my newsletter, I don't want you receiving them. So sign up, get the freebie immediately unsubscribe. And if you get to the end, you're like, Oh man, I actually need this. Then feel free to resubscribe. And if you never resubscribe, fine, no problem, but you're not there clogging up my list and costing me money <laughs> to send you stuff. So I can, I can see the attrition rate, see if, you know, if these are running promos in places that are doing better or worse for me, that sort of thing. And then on the very end, the last thing it does is it moves them to my primary reader list. And then, uh, you know, now they're, they're rolled into my main list. So, okay. Um, yeah, I wish I could remember the other thing I was going to mention. Hmm. I'm sure it was really good. It's very clever. Okay. <laughs> so anyway, so you could, uh, choose, and you can, you can change your reader magnet. Like you're not stuck with it forever. So I've actually rotated mine. Um, one, because I figure people, you know, may have already seen and decided they didn't want one. Um, or, and two, just because I'm like, ah, let's just, you know, put something new on the menu and I have different things. So those promos that I'm running, those are not all the same reader magnet. As you saw, I, I had shard and shield, um, you know, it just is a, is a limited discount, uh, for one group I had, um, she speaks in flames free promo. Uh, I will have the song weavers vow for a different group or whatever. And because I'm trying to target, you know, specific niches, um, and, and I'll, I can set it up, you know, for, it's, it's going to be a magnet for two weeks. Then I can see how it did. And then I can say, yes, this will do this again. Or how that was a terrible idea. How about no, you know, so, okay. Um, Ba -da -ba -ba. that's probably going to do it for tonight since I can't remember the other thing. I'm so sorry. Why can't I remember what else I was going to answer about this? Oh yeah, now I do. Okay. So I'm going to come over here. Um, let's say, um, what am I doing? Um, let's do she speaks in flames. So I'm coming in here and I've, I've labeled this as an opt-in and you can see that I'm running this promo now. I downloaded earlier today, so we have zero new subscribers, but so far 130 people have downloaded this book. Um, and I can click export here, and I'm gonna pull down, and I just typically pull down new subscribers because I'll download several times. Um, and that will drop everything into a spreadsheet, it comes down in a CSV, um, which then I just take that spreadsheet, like I said, I check over it just to make sure, like, did you capitalize your name? Did you answer your, put your name in all caps? So it's going to look like I'm shouting at you and you kind of thing. So if you have integrations, that's all done automatically. You don't have to, to download and re upload. Um, and that can be a huge time saver. Again, I'm cheap, uh, and I'm justifying that cheap by, it gives me a chance to, to check over and make sure people didn't put their name in all caps you know, kind of thing. So, um, so I download that. I, I, then I, just upload that directly into, um, let's see, where's my book funnel. And so over here I can go to add, uh, add subscribers 
and I can just upload that into uh, into my list and it's done. It takes it takes me two minutes, maybe three if there's a whole lot of people those names I need to skim. Uh, and then that adds them into that automation and then that automatically rolls them into my primary email list. So, okay. Glad I, <laughs> I remember that. Yay. So, uh, yeah, that's, that is it for tonight then. And, um, was this, was this useful? Was this, I don't, I'm, I'm trying to guess what, uh, what things need to be demoed or walked through and, uh, what things people already know. So I'm always up for feedback on, you know, was this a, you know, helpful thing or is this just me yelling into the void, which sometimes happens. I am desperately overbooked. <laughs> I'm trying really hard to catch up on things. I overbooked myself to start and then I was like, oh, that's okay. I'll just write another story for a fundraiser. That'll be cool. And this was a terrible idea. Not that the fundraiser was a terrible idea, just adding more things to the things I am already doing uh, was a terrible idea. So I'm trying to catch up. So, oh, Kate learned about story origins. So, okay, good. Yeah. And honestly, like go jump on the free tier of story origin. Um, do I have that link here? Where is that? Yeah, here we go. I'm totally serving you an affiliate link, but if it's a free tier, it's free anyway. <laughs> so, uh, but go jump on the free tier and just get comfortable with it. Um, and you can start collecting email addresses on the free tier on Story Origin. So that's completely worth it. There's no, no reason not to do that. Except Kate says she didn't have a reader magnet, but she will. You will. You write. Um, and you can always change it later if you decide you want to. So. Oh, hey, Joe. Welcome. Didn't see you in there. Good. Um, yeah, so... That is, that is it. 